Hi guys, it's Miss Lollipop and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be covering my top 10 favorite challenges to play in The Sims 4. All of these challenges I have either played myself or like dipped my toe into, you know? And I find playing challenges also make it so that you don't get bored of The Sims. Uh, a lot of the time you can just keep going and obviously each generation is uh, really fun and something new. So it's a really good way to enjoy playing The Sims 4 because all of these are legacy child challenges. So there'll be like 10 generations and each generation you gotta do something different. All the links to the challenges will be down in the description so you guys can go ahead and get your hands on these and play through them yourselves. If you do play through them, go ahead and let me know what you think as well. Um, you know, update me on my socials and you know, let me know if you're enjoying the challenges. I'd really, really love to uh, know what you think of them as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop right in. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you do, remember to go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Remember to go ahead and hit that notification bell and you get notified every single time I upload, which means you never miss any of my videos on the channel. And also remember to go ahead and follow me on my Twitch channel where you can go ahead and watch me play The Sims 4 live four times a week as well. All right, right into the video. First up, I feel like I had to include my own challenge. I have to include this because it's probably the most fun that I've had playing The Sims 4 in a very, very long time. So I feel like it's only fair to include it. Maybe I'm biased, maybe I'm not, I don't care anyways, it's been included. <laughs> I've personally been playing through my Legacy Stories Challenge and I really, really enjoyed it. Now this version actually is a modded edition, but I have already said that I'm gonna be making a second edition that is gonna be a non-modded edition. So the idea of this challenge is kind of a rendition of the Whimsy Stories Challenge, which if you guys don't know, you'll find out about it later because it's also included. Uh, the Not So Berry Challenge, which is very popular and also just a standard legacy challenge is very much inspired by all of those and sort of combined. So pretty much I've written out like realistic stories for you guys to play in The Sims and uh, you sort of follow that with your Sim in relation to that and obviously complete the goals based around there. Certain goals might be, you know, break up with your boyfriend or get married to your best friend or divorce your husband or you know like just drama related goals a lot of them are quite like that they're not just skill goals and career-based goals so of course as i mentioned uh, this is a modded legacy challenge which i think is probably what makes it more interesting for me because i play my game heavily modded and there's so many mods out there that make the game so fun um, so I've also got the mod requirements on the page as well if you guys need to go ahead and download them. But just as a little like snippet so you guys get an idea, Gen 1 is a criminal that has a midlife crisis and they become a super parent. It is honestly, Gen 1 was the most fun I've had playing The Sims in like actually years. And I'm not even saying that. It was just so, so fun. So pretty much you get started and it's kind of like a rags to riches challenge where you get started on like an empty lot. And also you start off as a teenager as well. And also this gen incorporates the base mental drugs mod. So there is so much drama that goes down. Uh, so pretty much as a teenager, you, um, you know, you earn money by stealing from people. You create a shack. You're not allowed to go to school. So as a young adult, you also get into the criminal career and you start selling drugs using the base mental drugs mod. And then when you end up aging up to an adult, you end up meeting this really family oriented partner that makes you want to change your life. Uh, you end up using a retracing potion and you become family oriented romantic and you swap your whole life around. You quit being a criminal and you become a stay at home parent and become the best mum possible. Like gen two, you end up being an esports geek and you make a massive life changing decision. Gen three, you woohoo your way to the top. You have to woohoo with every single one of your bosses in the business career in order to get promoted. It's part of like a goal of being able to get promoted. And uh, gen four is called gay all the way. And it's very much an LGBTQIA plus story where you play as a sim who's discovering their sexuality and how they uh, incorporate that into their life and they overcome that. Um, as they get a bit older because they've had some really traumatic things happen that as you know that's uh, caused them to not accept themselves as they should you know there is loads and loads of different stories with the legacy stories challenge i'm sure you'll find a gen that you know you really enjoy for now there is only four gens but there will be more gens in the future i'm just obviously in the process of writing them i'm actually playing this challenge myself over on my twitch channel which again i'll link it down in the description um and i've also got the uploads to youtube if you guys want to follow along yourselves and watch it but honestly uh, this is such a fun challenge and yeah maybe i'm a little biased but I mean, I've been able to make a challenge that I found really interesting and keeps me engaged in The Sims. I love drama personally, and I love to stay engaged and just, you know, get into a family and stick with them and, you know, follow their children along and see how they look like genetics wise and also see like what sort of people they become. Okay, so next up is the differences in the family tree legacy challenge. So this is a very, very all encompassing legacy challenge that I feel like covers loads of different things. It covers like, each pack, you know, so you get to explore every single pack with each gen. So for example, uh, the generation one, which is the theme of this is nature. 
you end up incorporating quite a lot of elements of outdoor retreat, get together, seasons and eco lifestyle. So very much packs that are revolving around nature and things. The first gen is really fun. You end up starting off as like a farmer. You've moved out when you were 18 and your parents surprised you with your own plot of land. So you begin creating your own small garden and dedicating that time instead of dealing with a nine to five dreadful job. There is a lot of objectives to complete, but quite a lot of them are actually optional. So it's one of those legacy challenges where you can kind of just, you know, do the bits that you want. And if you, do, if you find those boring or, you know, you don't want to do those, you don't have to. There are quite a lot of um, goals that are recommended that you play through just to keep the game fun. One of the goals with gen one is that you have to have a boy and a girl and you have to keep trying till you do so if you end up getting like five boys you just gotta keep going until you get a girl you know even if that means you gotta have like 50 million children and you've also got a master the fisherman uh gardening and herbalism skill which again I feel like I've never maxed the herbalism skill before, so it's definitely a fun one to uh, play around with because the herbalism skill isn't really one that I feel like you ever play with in any challenges, to be honest. Gen 2 is themed around the big city, as you can get an idea. It's, you know, city living, get together. Uh, theme 3 is that you're an artist. Theme 4 is that you're a lover. Uh, theme 5 is the, uh, the theme is science and space. Theme 9 is pure. And theme 10 is nerd alert. There are 14 generations of this legacy challenge. So you guys can keep going and going and going if you want to. It's a really, really fun one. I am gonna let you guys know. I think this is one of the more difficult legacy challenges that I've played. And I am actually currently playing this on my YouTube channel. If you guys wanna go ahead and check it out, I'll include it in the top right hand eye. But you guys can go ahead and uh, check this out for yourselves or, you know, play it yourselves or watch my playthrough on it. But yeah, the uh, Differences of the Family Tree Challenge is a really, really fun challenge to play through. I've only played through Gen 1 so far, but Gen 1 has been really fun. Okay, so the next challenge is called the Crybaby Whims Challenge by Dreyad. Now, this challenge is different to the rest of the challenges that we've got included. A lot of the goals and rules in this Legacy Challenge, they're very much focused on story goals instead of like skill goals or career goals. So there's not really many skill goals or career goals at all in any of this legacy challenge it's themed after melanie martinez's songs um i hope i'm saying that right because my twitch chat like bullied me last time i tried to say this 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 one is a really interesting one because you give your sim a lot of like background before you start off so you start off as, young, as a young adult but you're actually going to already have made your sims a uh, high school sweetheart who you're going to start off on bad terms with you're also going to make your sims sister your high school sweetheart and your sister would have hooked up in high school you already would have played through that before you start playing with your sim but you end up having a caring spouse that you fall madly in love with you have this like amazing life white picket fence and then you end up rebuilding a relationship with your ex and f you know woohooing with them and then finding out that you're pregnant but then you raise the kid under your roof it's the decision of do you tell your partner that you're pregnant or do you hide the truth and continue like living in your lie in the end, you end up divorcing your spouse and you take all the children and then you end up joining the politician career. There's a lot of like your your own decisions in this challenge. So you don't have to specifically follow a specific rule. You know, it's not just like, oh, you got caught cheating and that's it. You get to choose if you want to get caught cheating or maybe you want to lie to your, you know, your partner. And then they end up finding out later through a paternity test or something. You know, there could be so many different ways of you playing through this challenge. But either way, Gen 1 is such a blast. Gen 2 is themed around uh, being like a gardener and botanist, but you're incredibly unflirty it's very much the same with each gen you know gen 3 is like a criminal public enemy evil and also a geek as well at gen 4 you you start off with the soulmate aspiration but then you want to be the leader of the pack you're like a romantic uh bookworm at gen 5 is a villainous valentine, valentine which is actually one of the new aspirations which i haven't played through either and 6 is one of those really wholesome gens with you know big happy family so it kind of goes on very similar to all of that. You know, each gen, there is at least like one piece of drama that goes down in every single gen, which I really, really love. So if you guys find yourself wanting some drama, you know, and you want to kind of stay away from skills and career goals and maybe focus more on gameplay specifically, I would definitely recommend the Krabby Boo Booms Challenge. It's a really, really fun one. And again, I am also playing this one on my YouTube channel as well. If you want to go check it out on the right hand eye. I'm on Gen 1 currently, and this one has been an absolute blast. There is so much drama, so would highly recommend as well. <laughs> All right, so next up is the Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge. Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge, again, is very much focused on stories. My own challenge was also inspired off of this one as well. So the way that you start off with Gen 1, and I think this is how I personally got hooked onto this challenge. Gen 1 was so incredibly fun. You start off and you're homeless and your story begins with endurance. You end up uh, being really lonely, but then you end up falling in love with another homeless person and then you build your life up together. 
Um, you also have to live in a tiny home. You're allowed to gradually upgrade it as you get older. It's a massive struggle trying to live in this little tiny home with all your family. There's very interesting goals as well. So you need to like foster a healthy garden, have at least three tattoos, master the skills, uh, complete the aspiration, and also, you know, like rarely wear makeup, love to dress casually. So this one's very much focused on goals that create your character, which, you know, I think I also really liked myself. Gen 2 is the generation where you end up choosing to stay away from love because it, it seems so unrealistic because Gen 1 was so in love with their partner, you know, so it just seems like you're never gonna be able to do it. So they end up adopting four children of their own. So it's very much a really, really wholesome generation but they don't have a partner until they hit elderhood where they're caught by surprise and they end up falling in love with somebody but before then they live their whole life just adopting all these kids being a teacher it's just such a wholesome wholesome gen it's really sweet to play gen three there is so much drama that goes through with this you end up woohooing with three different sims in one night and you find out that you're pregnant you have to figure out which guy is the baby daddy it's so so funny this gen honestly it is so 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 funny and all of the gens are very much similar to that where there is a little bit of drama in it but it's very much focused on like a story and you follow the story that you get given you might need to like name your kids specific things and there might be goals to like post to social media every day you know that there's, there's very specific goals with this one again very focused on gameplay so if you guys are looking for something like that as well remember to go ahead and check out the whimsy stories legacy challenge and next up is a rendition of a super popular challenge. So you guys have most likely heard of the Not So Berry Challenge, but this is the Not So Berry Challenge 2.0. The Not So Berry Challenge is very much focused on a color and then everything related to that generation is related to that color. So for example, mint, all of your traits and aspiration are all related to the color mint. So if you look in Creatism, for example, they'll all be green. It's like an updated, but also a version of it that makes more sense to play through because there are some gens that like are a little bit contradicting. So it's it's exactly the same so each generation is themed around mint you know um generation two is rose generation three is yellow so you guys probably know that already but the goals are very much different to what they are in the ver you know version one so in this one you love the outdoors you're materialistic and jealous you end up having the angling ace aspiration but you have the engineer career instead of the scientist career you also have to master the engineering career and complete the angling ace aspiration now obviously when the not so very challenge was made the engineering career wasn't even out so this is like, you know, more of an updated version of it. Not So Berry Challenge is honestly an amazing challenge. Even the 1.0 version is so, so, so fun. But the 2.0 version for me personally just makes more sense. Uh, Gen 3, you end up going into being a conservationist instead of being, instead of going into the scientist career. Even if you guys have played through the Not So Berry Challenge, I would definitely recommend playing through the Not So Berry challenge 2.0 it's similar to not so berry challenge where the colors are the same for example mint with the hair rose with the hair you know you still get to keep all those really fun colors but gameplay is updated and makes a little bit more sense perhaps than the version one but it is kind of one of those things where it's like where it's kind of like outdated you know there's quite a lot of generations where you think oh i could use this pack or i could use this well this is the perfect version of that. <laughs> all right, so I think I've covered all of them. I've got my top five uh, recommended to you guys. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of these challenges down below. Let me know if you've tried any already, what you've thought of them, if you haven't tried them, if you found any new ones today, make sure you go ahead and let me know. And I really, really hope you guys enjoy playing through these and have loads and loads of fun in your Sims game. And um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. I will see you all in my very next video. Have an amazing rest of your morning, afternoon, or evenings and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.